Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Betsy and Levi. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> Yay! She's three months old today. Quarter. She, it's her quarter birthday, so you wants me to say. Um, yeah, so here's what's been going on. Okay, so things with Betsy are going really well. Um, she still has acid reflux, but her medicine has it under control. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, really, she is a lot less fussy than she has been. She still has her little fussy time in the evening, um, but it's not horrible. Um, she also has gone from no routine to a little gross. And she occasionally spits up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I forever have the little, like, slobber shoulder and everything like that. It's great. Um, but, yeah, so her typical day is we wake her up between 7 and 8. It's typically around 7.45, probably. And she'll get up and eat mm, about a half an hour to an hour later. And she'll be awake for about an hour total and before she goes down for her first nap. And her first nap is only, like, 45 minutes long, so... Really from like 9.15 to 10 is when she's sleeping in the morning. This is like so flexible though. Okay, so for her afternoon nap, it varies. It's usually around an hour and a half to three hours. And I really try to keep her at least in her room for two hours of that. Um, but she wakes up throughout the day. She's not as good of a sleeper. She doesn't stay asleep as long um, or as soundly as she does at night, which is good. Um, and then when everybody gets home, it's usually her kind of fussier time. I don't know. I don't know why. We don't know why. Um, but usually the evening she has a little bit of a fussy period. And then at around 6.45, 6.30, 30 probably, um, we feed her about two ounces. And then she has her night routine, which is to eat and then have a bath and then eat a little bit more and then go to sleep about 7.30. Um, and she usually sleeps until about 10.30. So she's still on an every three hours waking at night at three months, um, which is, we've come a long way, so I'm not going to, like, complain. Um, I wish I could get rid of that 10 to 12 feeding because it's crazy. It's, like, it's just, that's when I'm, like, that's my worst one. That's when I'm, like, hey. Now that she's about three months, hopefully we can get her on a little bit of a schedule to where we at least kind of know what to expect. At four weeks, we had stopped swaddling her, and at eight weeks, I started swaddling her again based on a book that I read, and I really, really think that that helped her tremendously and just totally changed the way that she slept. So we unswaddled too soon. So she's still swaddled at three months, and I don't see us stopping in the next couple weeks. So she's definitely going to maybe make it to four months being swaddled during sleep. Um, she really likes that. Hey. She is still on her medicine. She's taking um, it twice a day, and that's it's kind of hard because we have to do it on an empty stomach. So timing that with her eating can be challenging, or else she has to wait 30 minutes to eat. And if you've ever had a hungry baby and you're trying to hold them off to eat, it's not easy. So, but it's better than the alternative. So that's what we're doing. Okay. Um. Also crazy at what was it? Was it 10 weeks? I think it was 10 weeks. She started teething, like very heavily <laughs> teething. She didn't sleep for several nights. She was um, a slobbery mess and she has teeth showing. She's got two teeth and they are not in the typical place. They are her like vampire teeth on the sides. So crazy. And then the vampire teeth on the bottom are like really swollen. And so you can see two little white marks coming through, like we've already poked through. Um, my son had those two teeth come through at three months, and they went back up. So I don't know if hers are going to stay or not. Um, I didn't even know they could go back up, but they can. <laughs> I learned that. That's one thing I know. What else is going on? What else does she like, guys? She loves to be um, in the Moby Wrap. I'm usually pretty good if I could go out in public and I put her in that. It's a pain for me to put on. I still think it's annoying. But um, once I get her in there, she's happy. And she would live in that thing. If <laughs> Like, seriously, she would love to live in that. Um, what else does Betsy do? What does she do? She does spit up. Hey! Hey, Crinkalicious. 
she's starting to play with toys, which is fun. And she has a few. She's excited for Christmas. Did you go see Santa? She saw Santa Claus the other day. Um, right when we got there, the camera broke. <laughs> so we, well, anyway, long story. But we got our own picture, didn't we? Yeah. What else? Are you having a good childhood? Huh? I don't know how much she weighs. Um, the last time she was at the doctor, she was over 10 pounds. So what do you weigh now? Oh, yeah? She's not a huge fan of our dog. Um, our dog will bark really loud, and she just gets the saddest little face. Like, she doesn't like that noise. Um, do you? No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. What else does she do, Charlotte? Um, she, she, um, she smiles. She does smile. It's so fun that she's smiling. And, and she's got, her hair is starting to come back. Her eyes are still blue. I think they'll go brown, but they're not there yet. They're still that blue-gray color. And you're still in your pajamas, aren't ya? So anyways, that is Betsy. Um, her three-month update. We're just... We're just so happy to have you, aren't ya? Are you happy to have a sister? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to ask us. And we hope that you guys are doing well. See you in three months.